What is up, YouTube and the Monster Club, aka Skull Nation? This is yours truly, the Party Monster, back again with yet another video. And today, I have something very special to show you guys. Not only do I have some heat in this box, I also have a little bit of a bonus. This box up here, which I just got in the mail a couple of days ago. Honestly, I have no idea what it is. It could be my Supreme hat that I ordered a couple of weeks ago, or it could be my shirt from T-Fury, but... Who knows, like even the label didn't really give me a good hint as to what it is. So, it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. And I really do like that because I'm generally surprised like when I open the box and it's not forced. I have no idea what to expect, so it's kinda cool. Anyways, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you miss a single thing. I have a lot of cool things I'm in the process of working on and I don't want you guys to miss out on any of that. Plus, if you guys comment in the comment section and you subscribe to my channel, you guys let me know that you subscribe to my channel, I will definitely shout you out in a future video. So, definitely do that. I love shouting you guys out. I appreciate you guys. You guys make the channel what it is, and you guys keep me motivated. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. But enough talking. It's super early in the morning, and I have to go to work in an hour. So, fueled by this cherry wine, which I'm about to devour, let's do this unbagging slash unboxing so first things first i thought i would get this mystery box out of the way because i don't know curiosity is definitely getting the best of me right now so let's do it and of course you can't do anything without the help of tiffany let's go <laughs> Supreme hats. Of course, you got your standard Supreme bag. And I actually just picked this up last week. It was actually part of the latest drop. I saw it was super dope because I actually used to work at a champion for a couple of years, so definitely near and dear to my heart. And plus, I don't know, I'm going through the whole pink face, so. That was definitely sick. Glad I picked it up. Oh, and apparently the world is mine. And next up, I want to show you guys a little bit of heat I picked up from Soul Food Kicks, a store I've talked about many times on my channel. If you guys live in the Virginia Beach area, you probably already heard of it. If you haven't, it's like right across from Lynn Haven Mall, like directly across the street. I definitely check them out every time I'm on vacation out in the Virginia Beach area. And I can't say enough good things about the store. You can definitely find them on their website, Soul Food Kicks, on IG, Soul Food Kicks, and yeah, go check them out. I'll actually be leaving a link in the description in case you guys can't find it, so don't even worry. Anyways, enough talk. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so I finally got both packages opened, and for whatever reason, the one came with a Supreme sticker on the top, which is pretty cool, but it's actually backwards because the Jumpman is actually on the opposite side. You see what I mean? Well, actually, no, I'm wrong. It actually is right side up, so my apologies. Anywho, let's open this one first because it's closer to me. Of course, we have the CP Jordan 13 Player Edition, which... Well, the shoe I definitely was kind of interested in, but didn't pick it up because of, I don't know, just better shoes came out at the time. So, kind of fell by the wayside. Anyway, I got it now. Really dope shoe, but let me give you guys a better look. As you guys can see, the suede is actually pretty worked, but I paid half the price of what these go for retail. So, I can't be too upset at the end of the day. And as you guys can see, got this awesome tumbled leather with absolutely no creases, which is always great. As you guys can see on the toe box, really nice. Definitely will be showing you guys these in a full review very soon, so definitely stay on the lookout for that. As you guys can see, the bums are a little dirty, but not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, you can always clean them up with some Jason Marks or Shubernator or whatever you use. 
So next up, we have the heat that I was telling you guys about. This is a shoe that any sneakerhead needs to have in his collection. If he wants to say he's a serious sneakerhead, this shoe is straight fire. Wish I could have gotten them new, but I also didn't want to pay new prices for this shoe because this shoe can definitely go up there. Got them used, got them really great price. Like I paid $120 for these and from the condition I saw in pictures, they didn't look too, too bad. So I was okay with it. But anyway, let me guys, give you guys a first-hand look at my latest pickup from Slow Food Kicks. Of course, I am talking Jordan's Mix Action. We got the Infrared 6s on deck. Very dope shoe. And actually, I'm really surprised about the condition. Like, I expected them to be way more beat, but these are actually really good. A few scuffs here and there, as I can see at the top and somewhat on the bottom as well. And you got yellowing on the sole, but that can be taken care of easily with Magic Soul Sauce. So you'll definitely be seeing me use that on this and everything to get these looking icy again. But at the end of the day, I'm super excited to have these. Again, 120, this shoe could easily go double. I've even seen triple that for this shoe. I'm just really happy to have this one. So I mean, I would definitely, as just like a pro tip... If you ever see a shoe that just has the yellowest soles, but a really good price, buy them. Just take my advice, buy them, use some icy sole sauce or whatever you got to use to just take away the yellowing and then you got yourself a bargain. So that's what I'm going to end up doing with these. And that being said, let me give you guys a better look at these. So here's a better look for you guys. As you guys can see, the shoe is in overall really good condition. I would say probably 8.5 out of 10, maybe even a 9. The paint is not cracking, which is definitely a good look. This is actually what factored into my decision of getting these as opposed to the other store I saw these at for a little bit cheaper. These had no paint cracking. The only thing that was like really visually wrong with it was like kind of disgust on the front but I was really okay with that and I'm actually glad I ended up going with the soul food kicks one as opposed to the other guys just a beautiful shoe which I'm not going to spend too much time talking about right now because they're going to get their own review in a little bit so definitely going to look out for that and kind of off camera you can see into the right hand side you have the Dornbeckers which I have not forgot about that review is coming very soon so stay on the lookout for that but for the time being, stay focused on the infrareds. Very beautiful shoe. Not even so yellow on the sides. That's definitely a good look. I mean, I'm still going to have to like hit it with soul sauce, but not that big of a deal at the end of the day. And as you guys can see, the bottoms aren't too, too yellow. So, in my opinion, definitely a great pickup. So that's going to do it for this video. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Definitely share this video with a friend. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for a full review in a future episode. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. I'm the Party Monster, and until the next video, remember, party on. Peace.